disaster simulation is where we actually set up a situation where students will come in and actually experience what they would experience in real life, giving them the feel of the real world situation. Today we are doing a bombing and shooting disaster. There's about 90 victims that were involved in the disaster, so the nursing students will go out and take care of all of those patients. The idea behind it is to have more casualties than they're able to treat, so that they learn how to triage, they learn how to try to help as many people as they can as rapidly as they can. All of our juniors in the nursing program serve as our victims in all stages of injury, all the way through to fatality, and then our seniors are split into two groups, and that allows them to have plenty of opportunity to triage um, in the field as well as serve in the triage tent um, as the makeshift hospital. Our seniors didn't quite know what to expect, and I think that was one of the big challenges that they had. Another big challenge that they faced is that um, their patients were changing. So someone that they triaged as less serious when they brought them back to the tent could become more serious pretty quickly. So they were also learning how to continuously kind of round and monitor on patients that were brought back. Uh, some things I learned is how to put on a tourniquet. Never did that before, so that was a pretty cool experience. I learned you gotta think quick, <laughs> act fast. Uh, you don't wanna make any previous conditions turn worse. I think my favorite part would be the teamwork. We were really good as a team, uh, my group. We kind of uh, were able to get in together and then decide whether we need to stay there as a group or kind of separate to help the other people around us. So that was a good thing. Uh, my favorite part is uh, everybody helping each other teamwork. Uh, teamwork is just a big thing in the healthcare field. The nursing program at CCGA has prepared me for the future. We put in a lot of work, a lot of uh, clinical scenarios, a lot of uh, clinical hours. So we get a lot of practice, a lot of experience in the field, and that greatly shows compared to other programs. These types of simulations are important for students to experience because research shows that what you do in simulation is what you're gonna do in clinical practice. Not everyone is, is going to do a disaster sim, but everyone's gonna be in situations where their patients have an emergency, and this is going to help train them to kind of push those feelings aside and to perform as they should to help their patients.